Hello everyone, welcome to a new reading vlog. So it is Monday and I'm going to vlog as much as I can this week. I will probably be able to vlog more in the later part of the week than at the beginning, but I hope that's still okay with you guys. So I have been doing quite a bit of reading, so I've kind of gotten back into the swing of things with reading, even though last week's read did kind of slow me down a bit. I decided that this week I'm pretty much exclusively going to be reading adult romances. I haven't read one in quite a while and I'm feeling like getting back to them. I think it might be a good thing to do. I was on kind of like a historical fiction spree for a little bit, but I think that I want to read some quick and more lighthearted reads before I get back into that. So the first one that I started with is The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren. Of course this is the latest release by this romance author duo that's like my favorite romance authors ever so I love them a lot and I actually have been flying through this so I started it yesterday and I'm on page 142 which is like so exciting because I feel like I haven't flown through a book in a while and I need a book that I'm going to like fly through. I have this little bookmark that I'm using too that is just an Alice in Wonderland like coloring book bookmark that I colored in a while ago but I'm really liking this so far. I was pretty skeptical going into it for a couple of reasons. One of them being that I had heard pretty mixed reviews about it and then the other one was that I read their last release Twice in a Blue Moon and I wasn't a huge fan of it. I thought it was just okay like it's just not my favorite by them so I wasn't sure how I would feel about this one, but I actually am really enjoying it. I'm going to sit down because my back is hurting from like hunching over for this. The lighting's not going to be as good. Also, my office is a mess because I need to clean it, but it's whatever. So yeah, so I'm really pleasantly surprised by this so far. The first kind of romantic scene has happened, which is nice, but it is about this HGTV couple that's kind of like an amalgamation of a bunch of different HGTV couples. The main ones that I think of, though, are... Oh... I can't, Christina and Tar Tarek, I think. I can't think of their names at all. And then the couple from Fixer Upper, um, Courtney and Dave Wilson, and then Chip and Joanna Gaines. And it's very interesting to read. Like, I feel like a lot of them is based on Chip and Joanna Gaines, but I feel like the storyline kind of reminds me a little bit more of the couple from Fixer Upper because, like, they seemed like they had it together like they like were an adorable adorable couple and that was one of my favorite things watching the show but they announced last year that they're getting a divorce which is really sad so yeah so you never know but that's kind of what the whole premise of this is they're kind of more like you know they have that kind of country-esque style I guess to their designs but they are like the goofy one and then the very like put together and polished one but they everyone admires them as a couple but they actually don't get along. There's kind of a blow up before they go on this big book tour for a relationship advice book go figure but that kind of makes me laugh because my mom and I actually went to one of the stops for Courtney and Dave Wilson for their book tour so I don't know it's still just very funny but this is following the assistant and the engineer who has kind of turned into an assistant for the male character so they are stuck on book tour with them neither of them wants to be there but they have to keep things from blowing up and the media getting hold of what's actually going on in their marriage so it's a lot of fun it's been a really pleasant surprise I feel like it seems like a very random storyline but but it's done really well so I am liking it a lot. So like I said I kind of want to make this an adult romance week so I might a little bit later go through my shelves and like pick off all of the adult romances that I still have left to read and kind of have those out for the week but I think the other two that I for sure want to try and get to are Undercover Bromance by Lisa K. Adams because I read the Bromance Book Club fairly recently I'd say that was one of the last romance books that I read. I think the only other one that I've read before that one is the key to happily ever after but I like loved the first one so I think I'll also love the second one but then the other book that I'm hoping to get to is The Bride Test by Helen Huang because I've had this for so long and I need to get to it. It's companion to what's the first book? The Kiss Potion so yeah I should get to it soon but I probably will go through my shelves because I feel like there are a lot of adult romances that I have on here that I've kind of forgotten about that I'd like to try and get going like I want to try and read maybe four this week if I can spend like two one to two days per romance that'd be awesome I do generally read them really quickly so if I can kind of keep that pace going and keep up the momentum then I should be able to start to catch up on my good rates which would be awesome but I 
I was reading this before I did this little update so I'm actually going to go back to reading it because it's really good and super enjoyable. That's basically the same thing, but whatever. So I went through my shelves and I took out all of the romances that I have here. So I have a fair amount. I think I got all of them. I probably missed a couple because I'm not so used to this new shelf setup yet. It's like, it works really well for videos and stuff and I do find it a lot more aesthetically pleasing than the rainbow I had before where it was kind of horizontal. Well, See, I get confused and people think that I don't know what horizontal versus vertical is. Like I know horizontal and vertical. What I don't know is like the rainbow is going this way. So technically, I guess it would be horizontal. But I can also see where you would say it's vertical. I don't, yeah, that's, I don't even want to get into that. <laughs> but anyways, so it's very aesthetically pleasing. Like if you didn't see my shelf reorganization, basically I, I used to have all my books like red would start here and then it'd go into orange and then green and all that stuff. But now it's like red, orange, yellow. It goes through like the colors of the rainbow this way so it looks really nice but since i have like red on this shelf red on this shelf red on this shelf red on this shelf and there's no really rhyme or reason to that i do find it kind of harder to find books like even as a visual person this isn't the most like i don't know logical i guess setup but it is the prettiest so i'm still gonna keep it for now we'll see once i get sick of it but i have my big stack of books here i can't even pick it up actually but i'm gonna show you all the adult romances that i have to choose from for the week because there are a lot of them and i'm definitely not going to get to all of them and i don't want to get to all of them because i want to still have some to read but I do have choices so the one that I actually I already showed you these two but I forgot that I also wanted to read Well Met by Jen DeLuca this week I've heard some great things about this one so if I could get to it that would be awesome then I have Love at First Like by Hannah Orenstein Until It Fades by K.A. Tucker Say You Still Love Me by K.A. Tucker The Accidental Beauty Queen by Terry Wilson Fight or Flight by Samantha Young The Good Luck Charm by Helena Hunting Not the Girl You Marry by Andy J. Christopher Once Upon a Sunset by Tiff Mar Marcello, The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa, How to Hack a Heartbreak by Kristen Rockaway, Faker by Sarah Smith, Would Like to Meet by Rachel Winter, The Matchmaker's List by Sonia Lawley, Bringing Down the Duke by Evie Dunmore, Dating You, Hating You by Christina Lauren, and Get a Life Chloe Brown by Talia Hibbard. This one I would also actually like to read because I pre-ordered the companion. I don't even know if they're actually related, but there's a new book coming out. I don't quite remember the name and it doesn't say it in here but I did pre-order that one so I feel like it makes sense that I <laughs> should get to this one it's just like adult romances go on sale so often like they're on sale now and I'm kind of debating pre-ordering some more sorry the sun is kind of like awkwardly lighting me right now but I do obviously have this giant stack that I should probably try and get to first so once I'm done with what one am I reading right now? The Honey Don't List. Then I will pick another one. But yeah, my plans for the night pretty much like I'm either going to clean, but I think I'm probably just going to read because that sounds more appealing. Hello. <laughs> so it's Tuesday afternoon. I was wearing something other than this hoodie earlier. I did like get dressed and look cute, but it's really cold today. So I just threw on a hoodie and I just like, I don't know, I wasn't feeling like wearing nice clothing, but I did finish a book, which is exciting. So I finished the honey don't list earlier. I want to sit somewhere. I just don't know where. So I just keep on like walking around maybe here, but then I'm like backlit. Is that fine? Oh, it's going to have to be okay. Wait, but I have to like, Oh, I'm having so many struggles. <laughs> Whatever, this is the lighting we're dealing with. So yeah, I finished this and I gave it a four out of five stars. I thought it was a lot of fun, really cute. So I feel like I enjoyed the couple drama that there was, but not really the couple drama between the main couple. So you kind of have two couples going on here because you have the couple, how many times I'm going to say couple, but you have them who have the TV show and are the, and are the famous like HGTV stars. And then you have the actual like central romance of the story. But most of the drama was actually outside of their own romance. I felt like the little bit of drama that was in the main couple's romance, I was kind of like, okay, like, I get you kind of needed it, but I wasn't very invested in it. I more so cared about the couple that they were working for. I found that to be a really interesting plotline and both of those characters I like 
wanted to like but then you also can't really like but them but then they also do kind of have some redeeming qualities i don't know so i felt like i was just thrown all over the place but overall it was a lot of fun it was really cute and basically kind of what i would expect from christina lauren just like a quick cute and easy read twice in a blue moon their last book was very different it was different for them and like they even said that is very much a departure from their usual and I just don't think it was really for me this is more so what I prefer to read from them so I have started a new book the like lighting is like too light there's like a line like right there like what is happening here I don't even know maybe I should move I don't know can I go over here is this better I guess what is happening <laughs> but yeah so i did start a new book i started it a little bit but undercover bromance by lisa k adams i wasn't really sure what i wanted to pick up next because i have so many options why am i literally laying on the floor right now doing this <laughs> like i can't get comfortable i'm making it so weird because i always film in my office and i don't want to film in the same location all the time but i do so like <laughs> whatever this is just where i spend most of my time but i'm hoping to get further into this i'm hoping it's gonna be a quick read because i'm not really sure i feel like bromance book club i went through like fairly quickly but i also was kind of in a weird reading mood so i don't know if that would influence it but i don't know point is i'm going to try and get further into it i've read like literally two pages or something like that so they're literally just at a bookstore getting a book so like literally nothing has happened but i do plan on starting an audiobook at some point i haven't started it yet but the audiobook that i'm going to listen to is the bride test by helen huang so i will start that soon whenever i have audiobook listening stuff i have been talking to apple care because my computer broke but the nearest like location for me to get my imac fixed because they don't do mail-in apparently for it is two hours away and like i don't want to travel two hours right now obviously because it would be four hours total of driving and it just like is not the time for it so i've had to make a makeshift setup here which like it could be way worse like i have another computer i can use it's really not that big of a deal i'm not going to lose any data so it's fine but i have made this little setup here so i'm just using my keyboard and my trackpad from my like actual imac behind here and i just have it up on this laptop stand which i thankfully already had my office needs very badly to be like cleaned but i'm gonna dust it first but i just haven't gotten around to it i have books on the floor like I'm a mess it's really not that bad like over here isn't that bad but I want to do like a full dusting of my shelves and then I want to like vacuum and everything and do like a whole deep cleaning of it but I am pretty happy with my makeshift setup that I have here right now I just need to clean everything else and I have videos to edit also I actually didn't even realize that my videos for this week like Thursday and Saturday I haven't even edited yet so I should probably get to that like I filmed them all so long ago that I keep on thinking that I've edited them but nope that hasn't happened so that's probably what I'll do now and then after I'll do some reading hello happy Friday so nope Thursday I keep on thinking it's Friday for some reason so I gave you a little baby update on Tuesday and then I didn't update at all on Wednesday but I'm back so yesterday I didn't really do any reading I still am at the very beginning of undercover bromance I'm on page 12 so killing it really but um i don't really have that much to update on right now i'm actually just about to go live on harper collins frenzy's instagram page so i'm doing a q a with them so i just wanted to update you guys before i did that but i will also update you guys later because i do have some books that i got that i wanted to show you but they're actually downstairs so i'm not going to go and get them now but later i will show you that i'm hoping to read today i do have like i have to clean my stuff my clothes are everywhere in our bedroom so i need to clean that up and we have some furniture that we're building so that's kind of honestly what i've been doing is just like we've just been kind of i don't know improving the house a little bit i guess but that's what i was doing yesterday and that's why i never really updated and that's probably what i'm going to be doing again today but i will hopefully be able to do some reading too because i definitely would like to try and read at least 100 pages of this i think though while i'm cleaning and everything i will actually put on an audiobook because i haven't started listening to one and i need to do that so I will do that later but for now i'm going to do the instagram live hello i have not gotten the chance to read anymore today unfortunately i have spent like the entire day building a dresser and then like putting stuff inside dresser so 
that has been my day but i do have my stack of books here that i wanted to show you i was going to attempt to pick it up but that's not happening so these are some books that I had pre-ordered actually, the first couple I had pre-ordered, so they came in. So Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is a novel in verse, so I will probably listen to the audiobook for it because I know The Poet X was also in verse, and that one, she did the audiobook for it, and she's normally like a slam poet, so it was really, really good. So I'm thinking this one would also be good like that. Also, so pretty. Oh my god, I really love it. I love when books are beautiful under the dust jacket. I also got another adult romance to add to my pile. So The Happy Ever After List by Abby G Jimenez. Jimenez Struggles, but it is blurbed by Casey McQuiston, who's the author of Red, White, and Royal Blue. I pre-ordered this a while ago, so I don't really recall what it was about at all, but oh, there's a dog. Okay, so I like that. Are they fighting over the dog? I don't know, but we shall see. Then I actually placed a book outlet order. Now I do work with them, but this was entirely with my own money. So they had some of the Puffin and Pantone editions. So I picked up some of those and I got a Christmas Carol, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, Heidi, and The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. So I have most of these now. I have Black Beauty that I already owned and also Anne of Green Gables, but I think Anne of Green Gables might be in my garage at my parents' house. I have some classics there that I need to go through because they just, like, my parents don't want them there anymore and I would also like them. I don't even know what I have out there, but that is besides the point. I also got a couple of cookbooks. So cookbooks can get really expensive, so I definitely recommend checking out Book Outlet for that. So I got Alton Brown, Everyday Cook. I find, say, okay, so first of all, all the words got jumbled up in my mouth, but I used to be absolutely obsessed with Iron Chef America and I would stay up until like one in the morning watching it because that was like the only time it was on for some reason. I don't really know, but I used to be obsessed with it. So I remember him from that, but also I like looking at those like competitions to see what has, like who has the best recipe for like say a chocolate chip cookie or something like that. And I find that he generally is one of the ones that comes out on top usually. So I decided I wanted his cookbook and I was flipping through it and like it looks good, but the image are also really kind of low resolution which is weird but ooh, that looks really good so yeah I'm gonna go through and I'll probably make some stuff from here and I also got the pioneer woman cooks come and get it by Ree Drummond honestly I've never really looked at her recipes but I kept on seeing this one on there and I know quite a few people really like her I feel like I've only seen her as a judge on Food Network shows so yeah we'll see but dinner is probably ready I'm making lasagna roll-ups whatever I forget what they're called but I should go and get that so I just had dinner which was good I like kind of followed a recipe but I also didn't have everything for it so I kind of just did my own thing but it was really delicious so I don't know why I keep on throwing the peace sign but I just can't help it but I also before I forgot that I definitely have been doing reading I've been doing audiobook listening so the Bride Test by Helen Huang. I finally started it, which I'm really excited about. And I'm on chapter 11, so I've listened to 100 pages so far, which is yay! I'm really excited about that. Also, I think I'm pronouncing the author's name correctly. I believe that was how the audiobook said it. I'm sorry if I'm not. But yeah, this has been interesting so far. I like, so the kind of concept for it is it's one of the characters from the, oh, what was it even called? The Kiss Quotient. So it is Kai from that, but it's also this girl, her name, why can't I think of her name right now? I'm literally listening to it now. Esme is the Americanized name that she ends up taking, but she is coming from Vietnam because Kai's mother has asked her to try and wife him up. And it's like, it's a funny concept. I do find that Esme's character at first has been pretty like in some ways really annoying to me in other ways I totally get it and I do find her interesting it's just minor things that annoy me like she literally comes and just starts changing everything in his life and I understand where she's coming from but I'm also like why so yeah so that part has been like that kind of annoyed me a little bit but everything else about it has been really good it's kind of starting to pick up a little bit but yeah it's been a nice listen 
I do find I was just trying to start reading Undercover Bromance again and I never really like I try to always usually have an audiobook going and a physical read but generally they're not of the same genre so right now listening to and reading physically an adult romance has been like I was kind of I had to like while I was starting that one take myself out of the mindset of the bride test and be like oh yeah that's not what I'm reading right now so that's kind of interesting I mean they both also have similar covers which like means nothing but in my brain I kind of associate them with each other I don't know why or what if that makes sense it really doesn't but we're going to go and take Charlie for a walk now and I'm gonna finish my glass of wine too and <laughs> just chill for the rest of the night so i will probably uh, probably update you guys tomorrow stop throwing peace signs Haley. you shouldn't do that but i keep doing it i don't know why i can't help it hello everyone it is friday today and i have been doing some organizing i've been in an organizing mood so my office is my next project <laughs> as you can see there are books and like stuff everywhere my pictures keep on falling from the wall because I just taped them up but like it's gonna have to do for now so that's really annoying but yeah I just basically need to put these books away but I also have some newer titles that I need to find a home for but other than that like not too much to do in here basically what I'm doing right now is tidying everything and then I'm going to go and like dust everything and vacuum and stuff because I don't know I just feel like doing a nice deep clean but I have my airpods in because I'm listening to the bride test which is on the floor right now <laughs> I'm listening to this while I clean also actually I did end up reading 100 pages of this yesterday so I got through 100 pages of both of these books which is so exciting so I'm hoping that in the next couple of days I will be able to finish both of these I will feel super super accomplished if I'm able to do that like I don't remember the last time I finished three books in a week so that would be awesome but I also do have some video editing to do so I'm not really sure if that's gonna happen but now it is time to do some book cleaning so I started cleaning actually as you can see kind of ish but I got a book in the mail while I was doing that so I got my copy of The Betrothed by Kira Cast, which I'm so excited about I'm definitely going to read this for next week's reading vlog it has been so long since I've had a new Kira Cast book and I feel like the last new one was The Siren when it was re-released and I didn't really like that one so I'm hoping that I will like this one. The idea of it definitely appeals to me a little bit more. It's a bit more like the selection so I'm super excited to have a copy of it and I was thrilled to receive it in the mail but I also was like organizing my books so I have like a pile right here. These are the books that I need to find a spot for because they haven't been on here. This spine is gonna kill me. It's gonna be the death of me. But I also have two piles here so that's artwork that I'm going to be hanging in our bedroom but I want to get frames for it and then I have artwork that I need to hang on these walls. I do have like frames here that need to go up here but I'm just gonna try and like get that stuff hung up for now but all of these books need to go back home first. much better yay I definitely need to do a dusting especially here because the cat jumps up here all the time so there's just like cat hair all over the place but I also did my walls hopefully they will stay for a fair amount of time definitely need something to go in that space there but I'm actually planning on looking at Redbubble tonight and I'll see if I can find anything also that's definitely crooked but it's fine I'll figure it out after but yeah so I ended up putting these two over here I definitely want to get a frame for both of them I think that would look really nice there and then if I can find like a third one and I can kind of have them staggered like that. I feel like that will be really nice for my reading corner here. I'm dying for like stores to reopen so that I can get some plants for in here. I really wanted one for on that stool there, but oh well, I mean, patience, like it's fine. It's definitely not a necessity, but yeah, I feel so much better now that this is all tidied up and I'm definitely eager to dust it and everything. But next, my plan is to move on to the bedroom because my clothes are everywhere. Good morning, everyone. So it is Saturday morning and I 
look like crap right now, but it's fine. It's fine, Charlie. We're good. He's been eating too much grass, so that was just him choking, but he's good. I promise. See? He's all good, but... I had to run some errands this morning, so I'm kind of getting a late start to the day. It's 12, 10.30 struggles, but I had to get some groceries. I had to get toilet paper, which luckily, haven't really been having a problem finding that in Canada anymore, but we happened to like just run out before any of this started, but now we're kind of running out again, so I decided to pick some up, and I got one pack, because that's what normal people do. There's nothing for you in there, buddy. But I just had a couple of other things to get, and then I also got my mom a bag of flour because she hasn't been able to find any so I bought her some because I found some right Charlie my mom is his favorite person so you should hand deliver the bag of flour but you can't carry it because it's too heavy for you I don't know what I'm talking about right now but anyways so I'm just in a cozy sweater because the weather where I live has been all over the place. It was super warm and nice last week. I was wearing like a dress, I was outside, it was lovely, but this week literally was snowing yesterday. Like what the hell is that? Actually, I'm also getting a later start to my day because I have a video to edit. So I have a video that is supposed to be going up today that I still need to start and finish editing. So that definitely is going to be what I'm going to do right now, but I finished a book. Oh my God, I didn't even talk about that. I forgot that I did that last night. Oh, struggles. But I finished listening to my audio book, which I will get the book so then you guys can see it. So I finished listening to The Bride Test and I did enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it quite as much as The Kiss Quotient. I don't think the storyline really appealed to me as much, but I did still enjoy the storyline. Like I still gave it a three out of five stars and The Kiss Quotient, I think I gave a 3.75 out of five stars. So it definitely wasn't a bad book by any means. I did enjoy the characters. It took me a little bit to get into the story. And then I found the ending did kind of drag. There was like a lot happening, but not really that much to keep me hooked. I was like, I know what's gonna happen. So let's just kind of like get a move on with it basically. So that really was like, kind of the most annoying part of it but other than that I did enjoy seeing the relationship develop I love the fact that she writes own voices stories about autism spectrum disorder I think that they definitely opened my eyes to a lot of things about that so the kiss quotient also had that aspect to it I know she has the heart principle I think is what it's called that's coming out next I'm not sure when but I don't know if that one also is own voices autism spectrum disorder but this one was and it was overall a good romance and I'm I I enjoyed the audiobook so I'm glad that I listened to it. This one was kind of like equal smut to the kiss quotient in some ways but in overall I feel like this one is definitely quite a bit less smutty. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone but me but yeah those are my thoughts on that. Now I'm going to edit this video real quick so then I can go to the gym and by go to the gym I mean go downstairs to where we have our little home gym and then have a shower and actually get ready for my day. Hello everyone it is Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yesterday I did no reading. I didn't listen to any of an audiobook. I didn't read any of this. Today I would like to read some more, but I also have to edit this vlog. So I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to read that much more of this. Basically my priority is getting this vlog edited so then I can get it out on time and then I will read a little bit more of this. Hopefully the editing process won't take me too long, but I'm not exactly sure how much footage I have because I've just been like filming whenever. So I guess we'll find out, but I definitely am hoping to read some more of this. I was hoping to finish three books this week, but I've only read 100 pages of this, so I don't think that's going to happen, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be able to fly through it. I doubt it, but I shall try. So I just wanted to take a second to thank the sponsor for this week's reading vlog, Skillshare. If you aren't familiar with it, Skillshare is an online learning community that has tons of different courses taught by tons of different people, experts in their field. And if you want to learn something, you can learn pretty much anything. I've taken creative writing classes from them before, but currently I'm taking a course on baking, which I've been baking for a while. It's kind of the thing right now though, so it's really 
on trend. The specific course that I'm taking is Easy and Versatile Baking, the one yeast dough that you need to know, and it is taught by Julia Tertian, who is a chef, and it's really easy to follow. It's six lessons, and it just teaches you this awesome dough that you can bake all the time. And I actually was able to find yeast, so it has been great taking this course and actually being able to implement what I'm learning. But if you're looking to take some time to improve yourself or just learn something new for something to do, then definitely check out Skillshare. I highly recommend it. You can obviously do like whatever you want with your free time. I feel like it's been a time for me to explore some different things that I've always wanted to do and fuel my creativity with some other people who are also being creative and using this time to learn some new things. So. I've personally really been enjoying it and it definitely has been helping me to accomplish some goals that I've had long term. Skillshare is giving away two months of their premium membership for free to the first 500 people who click the link in my description box down below who want to explore their creativity as well. And after that free trial, it's only around $10 a month, so it's still really affordable if you do decide to continue with it. And thank you once again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I had a lot of fun learning this dough recipe because I'm always looking for new recipes. I'm obsessed with cooking, so it's been a lot of fun. Hello everyone. So it's actually Monday morning now, very early in the morning, but I wanted to wrap up this week's reading vlog before I start a new one. I did a whole week of vlogging. Yay! Like I did Monday to Sunday vlog. I haven't done that in so long. I hope you guys liked it. I know not a lot happens in my vlogs. Charlie's chasing his tail right now, so like at least there's that sort of entertainment. He's hyper because he just woke up. Yep, there we go. Oh, buddy, you got it. You got it, boy. I really hope you could see that because I didn't even check to see if the camera angle was right, but I'm sorry. But I did have a really solid re week of reading adult romances. Now, I was laughing yesterday because as I was editing the vlog at the beginning, I'm like, I should be able to read four, like no problem. I had full confidence, but obviously that didn't end up happening. I read two and a half, which I'm still super proud of. I'm really happy with that. I didn't get to do as much reading as I would have liked to yesterday, but I did still do some reading so Undercover Bromance is the book that I've read half of. I'm sorry, the cat and the dog are playing like literally right in front of me. I read 70 more pages of this yesterday, so that is still solid. Like, I have no complaints about that, honestly. As far as my thoughts on this so far, I'll talk about that a little bit more in the next vlog. I'm enjoying it, but I definitely do have some issues with it. But I did finish two books total, so completely finished them. So the first one was The Honey Don't List by Christina Lauren, which I gave a four out of five stars. And then the other book is the one that I listened to on audio and that's The Bride Test by Helen Huang which I gave a three out of five stars so it was a great reading week I will give you more thoughts and everything when I do my recent reads video which actually I will probably have enough books to do soon I'm gonna take a look at that today but next week for my vlog my plan is to read The Betrothed by Kira Cass I don't know what else I'm going to read I mean I'm obviously gonna finish Undercover Bromance but other than that I really want to read this because I haven't read a new Kira Cass book in so long. We haven't had one in so long, so I'm really excited to do a whole reading vlog with this one, so I hope that you guys will join me then, but thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you liked it, and thank you very much to Skillshare for sponsoring this vlog as well. Definitely check them out in the link down below. So I will see you guys next week with another one. Bye!